Hello, and welcome back to Cairo. I don't know where I am. Oh, it's right here. Okay, it's right where the, uh, this is the teleport back to the giant cube. We'll get back to that in a moment, so it's been a while since I played, actually. Oh, right! Yeah, okay, it leads straight here. I thought there was, like, an intermission area between these, but no, it's right here. This is the, uh, I think this is the third hub, but honestly, we haven't, well, uh, we haven't confirmed that yet, so I don't really know. But I wanted to go back here and just talk briefly about something that I may or may not have figured out. So I'm probably not going to do this now for the same reasons, uh, reasons I can't speak already, great start, that I won't uh, do the whole shiny rune thing. I don't want to collect all of them on my first run through in case that changes anything, so I want to do that. If I play the game again, well, I probably will when I play the game again, but I noticed this, well, I mean, I saw this last time, but in editing, I kind of realized what this might mean, probably, maybe, possibly, potentially, we'll see, but this is the same kind of slope that was on the clue in the Einstein room. The Einstein room with a, like, horizontal and vertical cog spinning puzzle thing, that had, the first clue was... Uh, just to reiterate, I suppose, and go through it all again, I've said this before, but the first clue the, was just a horizontal line. So, no change, just a line. So, the code was 4444, which is just a straight line, in that sense. The next one was a slope, like this, I'm pretty sure, which means a sort of gradient thing, uh, a sequence, so to speak. So it was 1, 2, 3, 4. And then it was like a zigzag, which meant 3636. Six, three, six. Those numbers were just arbitrary, I suppose. And then it was a circle with the radius marked, which indicated pi, I suppose, which was then 3142. Sequence complete. All right. Reiteration complete. Now we all are on the same page. So, with this slope, what I think it is, I'm not sure about this, but I think this might be a puzzle. So this cube is gonna do something if we do something in a sequential order. And these teleporters all take us back to previous thrones. So what I'm thinking is, if I go back and I sit on the first throne or do something, we might find out later on what that is. Then on the second one, then on the third one, and then we haven't actually found the fourth one, so let's go back in here and we'll just see if we can find the fourth throne, because if I do, then maybe if you sit on all of those in a row, and then you go back to the uh, the cube, there might be something there, a secret or an achievement, or maybe the secret ending, or I don't even know. Maybe you have to collect all of the uh, shinies before you do that. I'm honestly not too sure, but I just thought of that in editing, and I think it sounds pretty plausible as a puzzle, so we'll see. Also, this is a very interesting staircase. I've actually never seen a staircase design like this, which is quite cool. Oh, only on one side though, that's almost a bit, a bit of a shame. I really like this sort of... I don't know what you would even... what that? Ah, what you... what? Bleh, bleh, what you would even call this? It's like there's a staircase on the wall and it like meets up with this. I don't even know. I like it. I like that a lot. So, for this episode, I guess we'll just wander around into random areas and checking things out and seeing if I can find some stuff and complete some puzzles. It'll just be progression like normal, I suppose. So, yeah, let's start the exploration. I thought there would be a portal here, but apparently not. What is that? Nothing. Okay. Wait, what was the point of this? Just a random tower for the sake of having a ra- oh god, I meant to jump. For the sake of having a random tower, apparently. Alright. So I guess that's just nothing, just scenery, and there's this portal. Let's go up the stairs into the main sort of, the, uh, the middle part, the center. The centerpiece might be a throne, perhaps? Maybe? Or maybe it's a giant house. 
some kind. We're building. Well, this is something. Maybe if I go in there, there's gonna be the one throne, the fourth one, the one to rule them all or something. We'll see, I suppose. What? This thing? Oh, shit. That's the sequence. That's the sequence that we need to play in the musical floors room and probably in the star place. By the way, I saw in the uh, editing or checking one of my previous videos that the uh, star room, the constellation thing, apparently all of the pedestals have like models on them. So I'm kind of curious if maybe you're making a sequence of models, but now we have this. I'm probably not going to be able to remember this. Let me listen to it once once more once this loops again. That is pretty hard. It doesn't really follow any scales or anything like that. The second tone in particular is quite tricky, so I don't know how well I'm going to be able to remember this, but I should be able to at some point. Once once again, that's probably going to be next time when I go through the game again. I'll start worrying about all those tiny details and secrets, because for now, I just want to get the basic ending, just completing the game as the minimum with the minimum amount of effort that you have to put in and see what happens, what ending you get, and if it changes once you, uh... No! Stupid floaty controls! Oh, I guess this just leads up, so never mind. Yeah, this game does have very... very, uh, ice skatey controls. You can't really just walk, like, one step. If you walk one step, you sort of float like this. So, that's a thing. So... Portal here... There's a portal there, there was something down here, there's a portal on the other side, there was a house right there. There are so many places to go, I think I'm going to go in here. Because that's where we went last time, oh, nice jump. So we'll just check this out, I suppose, and see what's in here. A tower, some floating island, multiples. I guess these are just scenery as well. Can I jump up here? Wait, hold on, there might be a shiny arrow. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay, that's good. I I was getting used to the whole falling for like 10 seconds thing. Yep, there's a shiny. Ah, uh, Sure. Yeah, we're in the third section, so that confirms it. As I said, I don't want to get all of them. Also, I just noticed there's six of them in each. I keep saying five, because that just feels better. But no, there's six of those tiny bloops that you can collect, so I'll do that at some point, but for now, that's that's cool. I won't really stress it, but I'll still look around for them, see if I can collect a few, and so on. So I guess this is just a tower to climb. Also, I have to just apologize. I don't know if I can do anything about this, but I think it's just my microphone being really, really bad, and the amount of noise cancelling that I have to put it through and all that stuff, but I feel like many of my S sounds and Fs and those kind of sounds, TH, this, that, is, all those kind of words just sound really sharp and annoying and like high-pitched and weird to listen to in my videos, and I try my best to like edit it in a way to minimize that, but sometimes I just can't and I think I just need a better microphone. I really do want to get one, I know pretty much exactly what I want to get, but the problem is, if I want to get it where I live in Sweden, it's like almost twice as expensive as buying it in America, which is a real shame. I'm kind of wondering if there's a way, if there's like a some, like a some sort of, uh, oh god, some sort of uh, service that you can pay to buy an America-only thing for you and then ship it internationally to you for some sort of fee, because that 
would still be far, far, uh, what would you even say, far worth it? That doesn't make any sense, but you get what I mean. It would still be w very well worth it, so I don't know if there's anything like that. I've searched around a bit, haven't really found anything, and of course there's uh, there's always the, yeah, al always the problem of legitimacy and stuff. You don't want to get scammed, so I don't know. If you know anything like that, let me know, I suppose. Or if you just know a better deal that ships internationally. I'm looking into buying a Shure PG-42 microphone, mainly because I don't want a Blue Yeti, because I don't want to be mainstream, because I'm super fucking hipster, hipster, but still, that's what I'm looking into, and I just can't find one that isn't, like, stupidly expensive. Let's go in here. I think I'm done in this area. I think that was just a transition thing again, as per usual. But yeah, I guess that was just a tiny update, kind of undulated, and no one really cares, but whatever. I, I, I do that sometimes, I guess. I don't really have update videos, so I just talk about... Oh! Oh, of course. No, not of course. Oh! Oh, shit! I remember seeing this, actually. I remember seeing this in the Chinese painting thing. Hold on. Do I have to go all the way back there? Again, I think this is something... some bonus thing? Let's see, hints? Yeah, and then... yeah, it says the same thing. So I know what this is, and I know where the hint is because I saw it when I was checking out that ancient... ancient? Asian! Uh wall arts thing. Painting, that's the word. So, that's cool. So, I'm gonna have to come back to this, but again, probably not right now. Probably after I've completed the game once, so maybe that's the, uh, the trend for all of these. Maybe all of these different rooms you can go to here are just bonus stuff that you can do if you really pay attention, and everything here is just... You're just supposed to go into the middle thing and complete the game, maybe. I don't know. Let's just go into, like... Let's just check this maze again. Otherwise, that portal, I'm thinking. Let's check it out. Yeah, there's still nothing, at least for now. Unless you are supposed to just not touch the walls, which is stupid. But we'll see about that, I suppose. So, don't think I can jump this. I probably have to go around. What is this as well? I haven't checked this out. Okay, just some stuff. Not really anything. Let's just head in here. There's probably some sort of shiny hiding around here somewhere, but oh well. I'll find it later. What's this? A piece of a pillar. And... More sound puzzles. And some line puzzle thing. Oh, it's the same thing again. Like the constellation thing. Hmm. Nothing. Ah. Uh, I mean... Wait. Oh, you have to confirm it as well. Okay. So hold on, can I... Let's just head back quickly. This is getting really weird. I don't know how much of this is actually mandatory. If I should just go into the middle and see what happens. Maybe I should do that. Let's just get up... Yeah, get up to the radio thing again. If this is nothing? Yeah, this is nothing. Or I could just head into this portal, check it out. Let's do that first. I just kind of wonder if anything here is actually... Oh, another one of these. This one... Oh, this one has... Okay, wait, hold on. So... This one? Do I only have to do this? 
Like that? Yeah, that's that's it. So the other symbol, you probably have to gather that from the other two, maybe. So we'll see about that. Let's go in here. Interesting. We're in the life stream. And we're off the live stream. Okay. Can I get behind this, maybe? Oh god, this is really strange. Oh no, I can't. Hold on. What if I do this? Go! Nope. The uh, hitbox stretches far out from the door, so you can't jump around it. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That is really awesome. I love this, like, grand scale of things. Am I deconstructing this? Or something? I don't... I don't know. Hmm. This is very interesting. I'm really liking this weird, surreal, symbolic stuff that's going on. Okay. There's stuff down there. Oh god, guess we'll find out. Yeah, I can stand on this. Oh god. Where... What's... What's even happening anymore? So this picks me down. This is some sort of weird fan. This has a... What is that? What is that? A circle with a wing? It looks like a a bird torso in some weird, weird way. I don't know. Okay, invisible walls. Well, this episode is probably just going to be, let's look at our surroundings, because I'm not really solving any puzzles, I'm just looking around, seeing what's, what's around, what's up. Okay, a swirly, swirly swirl? Whirlwind kind of thing? Oh. Oh, they're crossed off the list. So line, then four lines, then this thing, hashtag, whatever. It's not a hashtag, but I don't care. Oh, God! Immaterial torches, okay. Or maybe I'm immaterial. Oh, plot twist. Okay, that wasn't very... Hidden secret. Guess I'll take it. And then this is... Two lines. This is very strange. I don't know what's... What's up with this. This is the, the thing. So I can't touch this. Can't touch this. Maybe I need to uh, touch them in order. That's what I'm thinking. This is not the right one. What if I just go to the center? Probably nothing. Oh. And now... I thought the fan blades were spinning. These, some of the torches are red. So wait, do I need to find the one line thing? This is the one-line thing. Yeah? Touch that. Well, it wasn't the right one-line, maybe. I'm not sure if they have to be orientated correctly. This was... This one? I need to touch that as well, I'm pretty sure. And this is... Not anything I want to touch. And yeah, this one. Is that correct? I'm just gonna have a look around at the other symbols, because maybe I did... No! I didn't... No! I didn't want to... Okay, you can turn them back on. Good! Uh, maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you want to turn these off. The ones that you don't... Maybe you want to have the ones that were highlighted burning instead. That seems to be it, so I guess we'll just reverse all of these and see what happens. But maybe I have to press the button in the center to, like, make it take effect, so we'll see. I'll just do this quickly and 
We'll see if something happens, otherwise I'll press the button, otherwise I'll reverse it and then press the button. Otherwise, I don't know. We'll have to explore more. So? Aha! Correct! Maybe? Yeah, it seems like that was correct. I don't know what happened, though. Maybe you get a new sequence now? Maybe we go in here and there's another sequence to fulfill? That would make sense to me? No. Still one for... and the... the thing. How many lines is that? Six. Um... And I guess this torch is here to symbolize have these ones burning, basically. So now if I go down here, what is this one again? Oh! Okay, I guess... Sure, let's turn that on. And down here... Oh god, it was... The, what? Wait! Oh! Wait, so I have to do this first. I turn this off, and now the path appears. That's interesting. Okay, and then we go down and we turn this on first. And then we turn on the fan, maybe. So open that. Don't know what's in here. We'll find out. And then I turn this on. Yeah, and that's still open. And now I do the torch thing, maybe. Let's try that. So this was... Nothing. This was probably nothing, I think. Yeah, this is the 6 1 hashtag. We'll leave that. Yep. This is. Not anything. I think this one was correct as well. Oh, yeah, completed it. I did it. Hooray! That was very straightforward. I like that puzzle. I figured it out! First try! No problems! And everything is done! Cool! Nothing here... And yeah, I can't touch these now. Interesting! I did it! I solved a puzzle! And it didn't even take any time at all! That was... That was very nice! Okay, so... Sometimes I can still decipher these this game's puzzles? What is going on with that? That's very strange. Some weird lighting effect. Making it blink or have a white... Oh god! White outline. Yeah, it's like supposed to be reflections, I suppose? Or some, some weird thing? I don't even know. But that's cool! Puzzle down! And I guess that's a good time to end it here. Bit of a shorter episode, I suppose, but... I always say it's a shorter episode, but... Really, I would want to have episodes this length and not closer to 30 minutes because that's that does end up taking a lot of time to edit and stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it here for today. I think we did we did good. Had a look around, got some ideas for musical room and different puzzles, and we'll check out the other portals next time to check if we can if the other one I'm thinking if the other one has like an upside down triangle or something. Then maybe the fourth one you need to do... I don't even know... Blah. Also the third one, and I don't even know, was what I wanted to say. What you would have to do. We'll see. We'll see if I can figure something out about that. But so far, this is really nice. I'm liking the third hub so far. Very open, very intimidating, but not in a bad way. It's pretty cool. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And bye. So long. See ya. Peace. Okay, just stop.